Hey guys, how are you? All right, we are back to work on the um, kids art drawing series here on YouTube. And this is intended um, just for children, although I'm sure adults could um, do it too and probably have a lot of fun with it. Uh, we're using basic easy materials. Um, we made our sketchbook. We made some embellishments for the sketchbook. We made a little greeting card with some of the embellishments. All of those are in the first couple videos. I'll link the playlist in the description below. Check it out. You might want to start from video one. Um, and um, I have been a little slack in filming the videos, but I'm going to try to do my best to catch up and film a couple of videos today. I'm going to probably edit them fairly quickly and get them up on YouTube for you all. Each one's going to have about four drawings in it. Um, and um, yeah, let's get to it, shall we? All right, as always, I'm going to start the drawing videos by saying um, to all of you kids out there, I hope that while you are home, uh, and the, and you're um, watching video YouTube that you're doing it number one with mom and dad's permission that you've done your homework and or schoolwork first and your chores and um, now you've got some free time and you can play with doing some art. Please make sure that you um, are doing what you need to first and yeah that, then let's enjoy some doing some art together. Um, so we are going to do some drawings and uh, let's get started and see what our words are and I will be right back. Okay, our words for today are, where did we stop? We stopped at smile. Um, we're gonna do four words. So we've got star, beak, feather, and door. All right, star, let's write the words down first. So star, S-T-A-R, beak, B-E-A-K, Feather, F-E-A-T-H-E-R, and door, D-O-O-R. I'm going to keep the drawings pretty basic, but you could make them as difficult and complicated and advanced as you choose to do. I want people to have fun with this and little kids to be able to do this. And so we're going to keep it pretty, pretty basic. All right, star. Star is an easy one. And... You could do star a couple different ways. That's actually my dinner list, sorry. Um, so you could do this and do uh, an upside down V, then bring this line over here, then bring it over here, then bring it down, and then connect it. Whoops, <laughs> that's not a very good star. Holy cow. You get the idea. Okay, but you also could just do this. Yep, yeah. so whatever way you choose to do it, I, this is gonna be opposite of what everything I've told you that I like sketchy lines, but I don't like all these lines in between. I prefer to do it this way. So I'm gonna put a V here. Then I, either side of that V, upside down V, I'm gonna bring a line straight out. Then I'm going to angle it down to about there. It's about where this stops. Then I'm gonna start here, bring it almost straight down and then back up almost to the middle here and do the same thing over here. Star. Um, let's color our star. What color? I don't know. Maybe silver. Silver might be. Oh no, gold. Gold would be nice. Gold. Where's our paintbrush? So get a wet Q-tip, uh, Q-tip and a cup of water, or a paintbrush and a cup of water, and your Crayola marker, and. Again, do a little bit at a time because the marker will bleed, but you don't want it to dry too much. Mm 
You could color it so the solid color, but I like the way it looks when the marker bleeds. Okay, so there you go. You can see the smiley face showing through a little bit. I think that's actually kind of cute. So star. Now beak, beak like on a bird, right? Let's draw a little bird. So this will be kind of a little bit, a little bit harder, but not too much. We're gonna draw sort of a goofy bird. So I'm gonna draw an oval shape. Then I'm going to draw a U shape. Like that. Then I'm going to take a line here and I'm gonna bring it out. And I'm gonna stop it right about there and then I'm gonna turn and come up this way. Do the same thing on the other side. And we're gonna do three little sort of petally shapes like that on one side and then three on the other side. Then we're gonna draw two big ovals and a little circle in the middle and color that with your black pen. And in between is the beak part, right? That's the part that is the word that we got. Birds have a beak, right? And in the beak, sometimes there are two little breathing holes. Right? And then we're going to just have fun with it. And I'm going to give our little bird some funny hair. And you can give him sort of feathery shapes like this. Yep, and then you can color him in some fun colors. Oops, he doesn't have to be a realistic bird. He can be fun colored bird. Why can't he be? I'm gonna make him purple. I like purple. Purple's a good color. So you'll notice I'm coloring around the eyes. I'm not coloring the eyes. And I'll leave them open. I'm going to take my yellow pencil and I'm going to color with a tip because I want it to be a little dark. I'm going to color his little feet yellow. I'm going to color his beak yellow. And then I'm going to take um, maybe the pink one. and go over the eyes in pink. And I'm gonna take this blue color and I'm gonna just add a little bit of blue around the edges of his little wings, the edges of his body, just to give it a little bit of interest and dimension And around the edges of his head. It just makes him look cuter. And color his little hairs. How cute is that? Little bird. Beak. So that's a good example of how you can take a word and don't take it so literally, but beak. You could literally draw a bird's beak, but you, why couldn't you just draw a goofy bird? It doesn't even have to be realistic. Draw a cartoon bird. All right, feather. Feathers are kind of interesting. So if you have a feather, you can get it out and you can look at it for an example of how a feather uh, looks while you're drawing it. But I want you to take a, a, a sort of a curved line, draw a little bit of a line coming out at one end, and then I want you to draw another line up the other side, but I want you to Angle it in so that it comes to just like a point, a single, the single line at the top. 
and you look at a feather, the quill on the feather is wider at the bottom than it is on the top. All right, then we're gonna just draw some hairs. Just flick out your pen, touch it to the paper at the quill, the center part, and as you pull it out, like towards the right, I'm pulling it out to draw the line and lifting it up at the same time. So you wanna just do that. Flick, 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 flick. All the way up. Put on some music and flick those lines. Flick, 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 flick. As you get to the top, have, their, have your flicks go a little, rather than have them go out at an angle, have them start to go up straight with this center line up here. Again, if you look at a real feather, that's how they go. Now, where I always run into trouble is when I try to do the other side. <laughs> One side always looks really great and the other side kind of looks like poop. <laughs> All right, so. I'm gonna turn the paper and let's see how we can do here. Flick, 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 flick. And then as you get to the top, straighten them out a little bit. And then go back. Darken them up, add some more. Really make it look like it's nice and full. Okay, that's not bad. So what I wanna do now is I wanna like push hard with my pen and I wanna just make some hard lines. Okay, and then I'm going to, I'm gonna use that blue color again, I think. I like that blue color. Because we're making a feather, we're having fun playing with art, but we are not expecting it to be realistic, right? So I'm coloring a little bit, and then I'm flicking it the pencil out. Coloring a little bit, flicking it out. Just, just not too differently to how I did the pen. So coloring a little bit, flicking it out. Color a little bit, flick it out. See, there you go, feather. All right, door. Door would be really fun to do your front door, but we're gonna just do a basic door for right now. I like doors that are like oval shaped, like a fairy door, right? Okay, so we're gonna draw the door opening, the basic shape. Then I'm gonna draw the step, right? Because your door probably has a step up to get in or two. Let's give it two. Let's put a little bit of trim around the door. Sometimes with the old fashioned doors, they have this piece in the middle, it's called a key. And these pieces around the edge were all made out of stones and that key held all the stones in. Fun fact. Okay, doorknob. My door is gonna be made out of wood, so I'm gonna draw the slats of the wood draw some vertical lines keeping it loose and sketchy for right now I'm gonna draw some wood textury lines in between just loose sketchy messy lines maybe the occasional something scribbly thing that maybe looks like a knot in the wood okay then we're gonna go over the lines Again, darker pen, we're pushing down a little harder. Gonna make these look like stones. And 
and we're going to color it. You know, I'm really feeling the blue. So I'm gonna color it blue. So I want you to spend some time making your door. I want you to color it blue. I want you to maybe practice drawing your front door, maybe um, drawing some plants around the door. I want you to just practice drawing. I want you to have fun with it. I want you to use it as a way to express how you're feeling, to find maybe a new hobby, something you really enjoy. And um, let's just see what we can do to keep busy, right, in this stressful time. So that's it for today. I hope you have fun with that. Don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Mind mom and dad and go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.